In this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to set up a static IP address on an Xbox Series X console. This method is different than the one shown by most YouTubers. This same method can also be used on a PlayStation 5 or other game consoles. The menu screens will look different, but the process will be exactly the same, regardless of what device you are setting up. I am going to be using an Xbox Series X for this demonstration. First you'll want to open up your network settings and then navigate to where it says IP settings. From here you'll want to make note of your gateway IP address. From here you're going to want to pop over to your computer. It doesn't matter if it's a PC or Mac, the process will work exactly the same way. If you don't have access to a computer, you can also do this in the browser on your tablet or smartphone, but the process is much easier on a computer. Now that you're sitting in front of your computer, you're going to want to open up your web browser. From here you will enter your gateway IP address into your address bar. This will be the number you just wrote down from your console. From here you'll likely get a privacy warning. This is completely normal. This is because our router is using a self-signed SSL certificate. Now we will click advanced and proceed. The prompts in your browser may look slightly different. Now we will log into our router with our username and password. If you do not know what your username and password is, it has likely never been changed. Simply Google the brand of your router and look up the default login information. I will log in using the username and password I created when I first set up my router. You will now be in the setup dashboard of your router. Depending on the brand of your router, this screen will look very different. I am using a Ubiquiti Edge Router 4 for this demonstration. What we will do from this screen is open up our DHCP settings. In some routers this is listed under LAN settings. We are now into our DHCP options menu. From here we can see that our DHCP range is from 192.168.1.100 to 192.168.1.200. From here we will open up our DHCP leases. Again, this will look different depending on the brand of your router, but you will have something similar to this. Very often this will be listed as DHCP reservations. From here you will find your console in the list of connected devices. Here I can see my Xbox Series X. From here I will click to make this IP address static. Your router may refer to this as reserving the IP address. These mean exactly the same thing. Now I click on save. Now I can view all my IP reservations. You can see that my console has now been assigned a static IP address, along with my media server and Unify security camera. From here you can close out of your web browser and return to your console. From this point, your static IP address is fully configured. Because your router is handling the static IP address, there is no need to manually enter it into your console. From here, your setup is complete. Please check out my other video showing how to choose the best DNS server based on your location. If you get value out of this video or learn something new, please consider dropping a like. 